Welcome back to Chicago Fire Weekly, presented by the Private Bank, the official bank of your Chicago Fire. Each and every Wednesday, we are right here at the Heineken Pub 97 at the Private Bank Fire Pitch. Fred Hubner, Frank Clopas, Paul Tenorio, and none of us scored goals or anything this year, but this guy has. Louis Solanak also on the uh, MLS Team of the Week. Thanks for coming in. Thank you for the invite. The, uh, it's been interesting, a three-game homestand, getting two wins and one draw. How's the team feel after these three? Uh, it's a great feeling. It's one of the, of the goals that we, we set, so we are pretty, pretty excited to, to have the points now to, to go to the road and with, a, with, a good, uh, with a good points. You know? Yeah, I mean, this is obviously, you, you bring a, a new player in, in Bastian Schweinsteiger, also Dax McCarty and Juninho. I mean, it's, it, so much has happened this year, it's hard to believe it's this early in the season, but you're starting to see the chemistry form. Uh, you have shown a, a quick understanding for, for Schweinsteiger, especially the first game you played in where you, where you took off with those vertical runs and were rewarded twice. In the last game as well, we were able to set up a few chances through that. How is that chemistry starting to grow between those three in the midfield and the rest of the team around them? I mean, it, you know, it, it always is not easy because uh, you don't know anyone and everyone comes in. But at the same time, when you have good players, it's, it's a little bit easier. And now everything is, is getting together. Um, but it, it's all because of the work we did on the preseason and everything, and also in the trainings and off the field. So it's, it's really good that we are we are starting to play good together and, and with, with Basti in particular I think he's a different level player so it's much easier for him to adapt to us and us to him as well. But for me I was so excited because when they brought uh, Lewis here last year and then we talked about his performances last year and the performance that you had this year uh, Lucho has been fantastic and I think it's been uh, great for, for the league to, re to reward you for that. But talk about a little bit with the additions that the team has made with Schweinsteiger, with Juninho, and with McCarty. How has that helped your game? You know, and how is the team different from last year to now? Well, first, thank you for what you say. And uh, I mean, uh, it's important to have two guys in the midfield that recover the ball as quick as they do, because it gives you confidence to try. Because if you lose the ball, you know you're going to get it back soon. And that, that gives you air and confidence to, to try more. And of course, the quality they have to, to make passes and everything help us a lot. So they're great additions. And, uh, and I think we still have a, a lot more to show. The, does the, one more. Does it matter to, with you? Where do you feel more comfortable? Do you feel more comfortable centrally or out wide with your movement coming inside? Or it really doesn't matter? I mean, I always felt better on top, but uh, I have to say uh, Nico is doing great, so I, I feel really good on the on the wing as well. Uh, in Colorado, I play a little bit there, so I'm getting to mm -hmm. to know the position. They gave me a lot of instructions that I'm I'm learning, so it's 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 easier. So now I feel much better there as well. So one thing that stood out for me of your play the last few weeks is there is that understanding. You play a quick pass, and immediately you're turning and going. How? much does it make it easier for guys on the wing up top that, that you know if you run into space, the, there are players capable of playing that ball in to find you. And like you said, you just have a little bit of trust that you can go, right? Yeah, yeah, as you say, it's, it's exactly how you say. Uh, I, I just pass the ball and run, and if, if I don't get the ball, I know someone else will get it, and I create a space for someone else. But uh, I know Basti always look for those passes, so... As soon as I get the ball, if I have the chance to make a one-two, it's the, it's the perfect and the easiest way to, to get to the goal. We talked about that, and we're going to look at some of the highlights a little bit later on one of the other segments, and we saw it here. But the, the assist you had when Janino got, Janino got you the ball, you had an idea that that's where Schweinsteiger was going to be, cutting towards the net. It was perfect pass. You didn't take any time and got it right to him. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, everybody saw the highlights and everything, but uh, that's my job, to cross the ball because... When you play in the wings, you know the striker is going to be in, especially Nico. He has that feeling. So mm -hmm. it's important. I was, Michael was there. It's, it's good that when we have the ball and in a position to cross it, everybody's inside the box, and, and that's really working right now. You've been in this league long enough now. You know it's important to take care of things at home. You guys did that, like you said, seven points in the last three games. Three very difficult road games coming up. Toronto, New York, L.A., tough places to go play. What's the mentality going into, let's start with this Friday in Toronto, to try to get a result there? Yeah, I mean, uh, Pano didn't really make a difference between the home and the away games now because with the confidence we build and the momentum we have right now, 
I think we have to go there with a, with a winning mentality. Uh, and yeah, of course, see what happens, but uh, we're preparing to win. Well, and that's one of the things that Pano said on one of the cuts we played earlier, is that he went back to the locker room and he said everybody, the players now feel they can win each and every time they go out there. It's a little bit of a different feeling than they had last year. Yeah, yeah, uh, for sure, 100%. But uh, that's what uh, winning uh, makes you feel mm -hmm. better. You feel you can go everywhere and win. And uh, we have to we take the chances with that. What, what is the change in the locker room? Because I've been able to see the group a little bit. It seems like there are some really closer friendships growing within the group and that the whole group is growing together. Yeah, for me in particular, uh, having Junior and, and Jorge, two Latinos, uh, it was much more important. But as well, Dax is a guy that's been in the league for a long time. Everybody knows him, Basti as well. So it's good that we're having uh, more strong names in this league that can... It's, Something's not going on very good. They know the, the path, that, and so we just follow them. Well, uh, Luis Solanac with us, and the only thing you might want to do is next time you ask about how long it takes to get here, ask Janino instead of Capel <laughs> Hopping. Yeah, that's 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 a better true. idea. So we'll talk more with Luis Solanac. We come back. Don't forget the game coming up this Friday in Toronto, and the next Fire home game will be May 13th. It is a Saturday night with Seattle and Clint Dempsey coming in. You can get tickets at chicago-fire.com. You're watching Chicago Fire Weekly, presented by the Private Bank. Welcome back, Chicago Fire Weekly, presented by the Private Bank. We are live at the Heineken Pub 97, the uh, Private Bank Fire Pitch, each and every Wednesday. We are joined today by Louis Solanak. He was named to, to the MLS Team of the Week, along with uh, Nemanja Nikolic. Nikolic named the Player of the Week in Major League Soccer. And uh, Luis, now you get you were, came over last year. Now you've got some time to adjust living in Chicago. How do you how do you like it? Uh, it's a great city. I did some sightseeing with my mom last year. Uh, a bit more than this year. Uh, I've been more focused on, on football and everything mm -hmm. right now. Uh, and especially the, with the weather we had last time, it was <laughs> difficult to go outside. So, but it's a, a really good city. Did your mom say, where are you bringing him into this cold place? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. She was, she was in a good time in August last year. So, uh, ah, yeah, okay. we took the boat and <laughs> some things. You showed her the good, the, the good uh, sights. But I yeah. wanted to ask you because there was a question mark. You know, you run an option last year and, you know, there was a question mark if you know, if the team would have been able to uh, work out a deal where you would have been back, you know, how, speaking to, to Nelson and to Pano and then them kind of telling them you their vision and how they wanted to build this club, how did that sway and, and, and help that decision making for you to really want to be here? Yeah, I mean, a lot. Uh, one of the things that a player want is be face to face to the coach and he will tell you, he can't tell you you're going to play or not, but that he trusts you and he has confidence on you. So before I left to Argentina, he told me that he, he won me back. And for me, it was really important. And I have it in mind all the time. So every time I talk with my agent and he has a motion, I, I tell him that I, I want to speak with the coach, see what the ideas and, and if he really wants me. Because it happens sometimes that you go there and then the coach says, I don't want you and there is a problem. So having that from Pauno was really important. Um, and also, I think it was important, my experience with Colorado, that we were last. And then when I came back, we were almost, they almost got, I got trade after, but they almost made the play, the, they won the league. Yeah. So um, it was, being last, it wasn't a deal for me because I know how this league works and sometimes you are there and sometimes, so, so it, was, it was a good choice for me. You talked about the idea that a coach can't guarantee you're going to play. When you look at this team, when you look at the guys that are competing in the midfield, it feels like the competition is so much better now than it was. You got you, Arturo, David, uh, a young guy in Daniel Johnson who's pushing for minutes. Obviously, you know, you look at the central midfield, the guys that are there, all over the place there's competition. How has that changed the team this year? Uh, when I talked to Nelson last year, I told him about that, that uh, he asked me what should we uh, do to improve or something like this, and I told him for me the most important is uh, the competitive inside the team that makes you work harder every day because you want to be the one that is jumping in the in the eleven. So it makes you improve every day, and, and I think it, this is one of the key of this year. Lucho, I know you're a team player. I'm not even going to say, you know, but I want to know, you know, your own personal goals as a player because I know you put your team first above all, and that shows the way you approach every game, you know, the way you play for the team and how hard you work out, you know, when you don't have the ball. But personal goals uh, as a player, as a person, what are they, if you look at this year? Yeah, you know, it's 
it's a hard question because I used to do a lot of goals and things, but then uh, then I realized you, if you set so many goals, sometimes you you achieve them, or if you don't achieve, you you go down. You know, you feel confidence, and if you say I want to score 10 goals. Maybe it's a limit as well. Maybe mm -hmm. why don't you can score 12 or 15? So right now I'm I'm looking more like every day and every every game and try to do my best. Uh, and I think that will take me to the place I want to be. What does it mean to you? I'm sorry. What does it mean to you? I mean, you get named to the MLS Team of the Week. Nemanja Nikolic, the Player of the Week. You had a, a nice pass to him that he put in and tipped in. What's that mean uh, to you? I mean, as I said before, uh, right now I'm playing as a wing. So uh, it's really important for me to give assists. Of course, if I can, if I can score, it's, it's mm -hmm. much better. But it's good that Nico is scoring and he's with the confidence right now. So uh, it's good to have that, uh, that in mind that he has to be the one that scored the goal. And maybe we have now the chance to just pass the ball and, and help him to be, build his confidence. And hopefully, the more we are on the, on the MLS team of the week, the, the best is for the team as well. You, you talked about Velko Ponder said, you know, there, there shouldn't be too much of a difference now between home and away games. It sounds like that confidence is there in yourselves. Is there a certain way that you think you have to approach? Do you talk to guys like Schweinsteiger about what it's going to be like on the road in MLS and maybe what the mentality has to be going into a place like Toronto to get a result? Yeah, he's an uh, extremely experienced player. But um, yeah, it's, it's hard because in Europe you don't travel so much. So we, we told him about that. Uh, but he, he, I think he knows how to deal with it. Uh, in, in the other side, is, um, as Paolo said, uh, we have to win. We have to try to win every game, even if we are home or away. Uh, especially now this weekend, I think it's a, it's a beatable team, so we have to go with 100% confidence. The, you look at it, and we talked about living in Chicago. We talked about the competition and everything else like that. Is there, when you got the new midfielders, I mean, Janino and McCarty, and Schweinsteiger, did one of them come in and take over a leadership role? Did they have to fit in slowly but surely, or was it Dax and then it changed a little bit when Schweinsteiger came in? No, it was, uh, Juni was the first that came, mm -hmm. so he took a little bit the, the leadership. Also, I think Pauno gave him that, that comment that be, be you the one. Uh, we knew the captain is going to be around there, so um, I mean, we just follow them and try to help them in the, in the way we can. Well, congratulations on uh, getting named to the team of the week. Thank you. The, the uh, nice three-game homestand. Go on out to Toronto, get a win, and uh, start this three-game road trip, okay? All right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot for joining us, Luis Solanek, the MLS team of the week, along with uh, Nemanja Nikolic. We come back. We'll take a look at some of the things the Fire did well in the game on Saturday, and there was quite a bit of it. You're watching Chicago Fire Weekly right here, brought to you by the Private Bank.